excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMB the Sexy Ninja in the place to be for the Paper Saver Universe, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. We're talking about Dynamite, May 22nd, 2024. Tony Taz, Excalibur on commentary. We're in Bakersfield, California. The go-home show for Double or Nothing this Sunday, or one of the three go-home shows for Double or Nothing. We started off with the Furiosa intro mixed with Dynamite. I thought that was interesting, but, you know, sponsors, man. You need sponsors <laughs> to keep the lights on. But we started it off with uh, Orange Cassidy and Will Ospreay versus Trent Beretta and Roderick Strong. And this match was awesome. Oh, I had so much fun with this match, man. It was a back and forth battle. Uh, Undisputed Kingdoms on the outside. Don Callis is on commentary. Uh, it's like, is he recruiting Orange Cassidy? Is Will Ospreay even still part of the Don Callis family? It's all these questions of what's going on. So... Uh, but Don Cows is on commentary, and of course, Trent Beretta, Roderick Strong got the win going into this weekend, you know, for their big matches. And here comes Wardlow. I was like, where have you been, you big son of a bitch? And uh, they start beating down Will and Orange, of course. And the, <laughs> it's just a bad beat down, sending a message for their big matches on Double or Nothing. And I cannot wait for Roderick Strong versus uh, Will Ospreay for that championship. It's going to be a banger. <laughs> Uh, the books are backstage. <laughs> They're handing out these flyers for Darby Allen. They're like, no, no, no Darby here. He's banned from the arena. You know, Brian Danielson's in the main event tonight with um, Singh. And here comes Sanjay. And they're like, yeah, you know, you take care of uh, Brian tonight. And if he gets hurt, that would be kind of good, kind of great. <laughs> and I love the Bucks, man. I love this uh, EVP shit, man. I'm really a fan of it. I, uh... <laughs> And they're paying off for uh, setting off a hit list. You know, they're they're in the mob type style. We got Bullet Club Gold who comes out. This was a fun segment, but during this, somebody somebody yelled out, clear enough, clear as day, who wrote this shit? <laughs> I thought it was entertaining. Jay White was like, what does it go by? Pack, Pac? What is it? <laughs> but of course, here comes Pac, the bastard himself. And he says, yes, there's three of you. There's one of me. The numbers game is what we're talking about. So guess what? Guess who's back? Death Triangle. Here comes the Lucha Bros. Here comes uh, Pac. It is uh, set, and they're going to be fighting at double or nothing. And I don't think for the championships or maybe for the championships, but the match is official. It is on the card. And uh, I was like, all right, Bullet Club Gold, baby. Bullet Club Gold, they got all that gold. They had to carry, uh, use a little wagon to bring all that gold to the ring when they came in. So uh, next up, we have the FTW three-way eliminator match, which I found very interesting. We got two winners. We have Hook and we have Shibata and poor Brian Keith getting pushed to the side. Again, the bounty hunter, Brian Keith. This match was okay. Uh, Chris Jericho on commentary, Big Bill, the Redwood, whatever the hell you want to call him, you know. And I'm just like, oh, just shut up, Chris. <laughs> but we end this in a double submission. Going to turn that FTW championship match at Double or Nothing into a triple threat. Hook and Shibata, and I'm like, didn't I just see a, like, a double-ish pin for the North American championship on NXT? I did. And I looked. I was like, oh, yeah. Now they're having a triple threat at uh, Battleground, and we're having a triple threat at Double or Nothing for the FTW Championship. And I was like, huh, interesting. Hmm. Two, two wins out of a triple threat this week. Hmm. Uh, then we get a promo after Chris Jericho. I, I kind of just zoned this out. I really didn't care. Um, but next up, we have a Willow and Mercedes Monet package that's going to get heated. Then we have a Takeshita and Moxley package. And we have Takeshita coming up next versus Matt Seidel. And how fucking sad is it that Matt Seidel now is part of Squash Gang? It's very sad. I like Matt Seidel, but him being part of Squash Gang makes me sad because Takeshita gets the win, and he starts attacking Matt Seidel, and here comes John Moxley. Moxley has the mic in his hand, and he's like, hey, he's about to say something, and he bops him on the head and says, I'll see you uh, Sunday because John Moxley's a man of few words. Takeshita did not like that. Uh, the Bucks are backstage sent, uh, giving away more of those flyers with uh, Darby Allen's face on them. Swerve is sitting in their chair, and he's like, oh, I'm sorry for sitting here. They're like, no, champ. 
Champ can sit wherever he wants. He's like, well, play my music. We're like, we don't handle the music. We'll play the Champ's music, goddammit. And we have Swerve versus Nick Wayne. And a, a very fun match, uh, but Swerve got the win. Um, here comes Kill Switch, of course. Here comes Christian. And they start attacking, and then uh, Swerve gets the best of Kill Switch. And he goes after Christian. And this is some of my favorite stuff because I was like, hasn't Christian Cage done this before many many times just jumping in a car and taking off before uh his opponent can get him but this time around prince nana caught him off i was like yay prince nana i was so happy and excited about that because i was like prince nana is back and he's gonna walk into double or nothing with swerve for the big championship match uh next up we have kyle o'reilly versus malachi black and i knew this was gonna be a banger man i knew these two we're going to get very technical. They're going to use the kicks and the, the you know, all their martial arts moves and stuff like that. And they did. And they, I had a, a lot of fun with this match. But Malachi Black won. And out of nowhere, the lights start flickering. Instead of going pitch black and went reddish red, are we getting brood edge? That I mean, That's the vibes I got here because blood just comes pouring down. Like a massive amount of blood. It squirts everywhere. And everyone had to feel the effects of it even afterwards. But all this blood comes down to Malachi Black. And Adam's on the uh, screen, sends a message. And he's like, ha, 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 Adam. Ha, ha. I, I don't know. He said something. And so that that was just like, oh, are we getting brood edge? That's, that's what I'm guessing here. So uh, we shall see on that. But, yeah, setting up Malachi and Adam for their big match at Double or Nothing in that steel cage barbed wire extravaganza. Uh, next up, we have Tony Storm and Mariah May versus Soraya and Harley. And this was a fun match, man. I had a lot of fun with this. Tony Storm and Mariah May got the win. And, of course, here comes Serena. And she hit Tony with a shoe. And I'm like, you bitch. Tony's going to whoop that ass at Double or Nothing. That's what I'm saying because I do love me some Tony Storm. A timeless Tony Storm. That's what I'm talking about. But uh, Mariah and Tony got the win. Uh, we got Bang Bang Gang, who's answering Death Triangle. Like, you guys want to face us? Well, fine, we'll face you. And that sets up their match. We go into Brian and Singh. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, it is. I thought it, it is what it became. I was like, you know, Jeff Jarrett's out there. Sanjay's out there. The Lethal's out there. I was like, I bet this is going to end in a DQ just so we can keep uh, Singh strong for being the big strong man he is. But that's what they did. It was a slow match. You know, Brian did what he could. The crowd popped. And... Uh, they beat down Brian and got a DQ, and they started beating him up. And here comes the Bucks, and they got the money in the envelope for Sanjay and his crew, and he give, they give them the money. And uh, during this, though, we get CM Punk chants. I'm just like, okay, guys. But here comes Okada. Here comes Jack Perry. And uh, they start beating down uh, poor Brian. But who's going to save him? The Elite's taking over, right? And here in a car rolling up, it's Darby Allen with a flamethrower. A flamethrower. And guess who's driving the car? Tony Khan. He is now a character inside his company that he said he wasn't going to be. But I don't know. I kind of popped through this. I saw him in his front. I was like, is that Tony Khan? He's telling Darby, like, you go. Go get him. So they go and they send um, they send the Bucks running. They send them all running. Uh, one goes through a table and everything like that. And he's like, no. And that's the way we end the show. And uh, setting up anarchy in the arena. So I'm wondering what we're going to do on Rampage. I'm wondering what we're going to do on Collision. Because when I saw that Rampage was on Friday, I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was kind of enjoying my uh, SmackDown only Friday nights, man. And uh, WWE just announced, too, that SummerSlam in 2026 is going to two nights. Two nights. And uh, they talked about the big four becoming two night events. And I was like, yeah. I, I don't mind WrestleMania now being two nights. SummerSlam is understandable because it's a big bash. But... I don't see you turning Survivor Series into two nights. I don't see you turning the Royal Rumble into two nights. So I hope that's not true. I hope that it's just kept with SummerSlam and WrestleMania. Keep those the two big main events um, of the one of the summer and one of the earlier in the year, and that's WrestleMania. So um, that was it. That was all. Uh, it was an okay show. My match of the night, though, was Orange Cassidy and Will Ospreay versus uh, Trent and Roderick. And, uh, yeah, I, I, that's my match of the night. Second match of the night was Tony Storm and Mariah May versus Soraya and Harley. And Serena, I hope you get your ass kicked. That's all I'm asking for. And that's it. That's all. I give uh, Dynamite a solid three and a half out of five uh, for the time being. 
And yeah, like I said, it was it was a, it was a good show. Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild, but I did like the ending. So that's it. That's all. Three and a half out of five. Tell me what you thought of the show. Drop those comments below. Hit that like and subscribe. And now we are going into my favorite 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 thing I do when pay per views are rolling up is picks and predictions. All right, picks and predictions. So my picks and predictions for Double or Nothing 2024, five years of AEW in the bag at uh, this Sunday. That's crazy, man. Five years we've been on this journey. Um, I like to make the picks of the winners of each match and maybe where they're going to go after this. Is the story going to end or are we going to continue the story? What's next? So we have Forbidden Door. That's the next pay-per-view after this. Who, what's going to happen there? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just making some picks and predictions here. And the best part about this is when I go and review the show uh, after seeing it this Sunday, I like to see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. I like to be wrong because that means the show's not that predictable and we're not going in any certain order, just the way I wrote it down here, all the way to the main events. Uh, first up is the uh, trios match BCG, Bullet Club Gold, Bang Bang Gang versus Death Triangle. I'm going with Bang Bang Gang. Guns up, baby. I'm going to, I'm going for them because I'm just that's just a fan pick right there. FTW Championship, Jericho versus Hook versus Shibata. Uh I, I see Hook in that championship. I'm not really invested in this, so I can give a shit less where it goes from here. I hope it just ends and is done. Put the learn chop down the fucking learning tree and burn the son of a bitch. That's what I want. Trent Beretta versus Orange Cassidy. This is gonna be a fight among fights, and I hope it ends. With Orange Cassidy standing over Trent, and Trent can go away for a little bit and reinvent himself and uh, really establish this new heel side because I do like this new heel side of Trent. But I think this uh, this match either could go into uh, uh, the rubber match, you know, because Trent got if Trent gets one, Orange gets one, then we go into a bigger one. They could fight in a steel cage. They can fight in a no holds barred, something like that. But I think we're probably gonna get one more match out of these two. Next up, the IWGP Eliminator match. The championship is not on the line between John Moxley uh, versus Takeshita. I'm picking John Moxley for the win. I would be surprised if Takeshita gets the win, but they have been pushing him lately, so I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm going with John Moxley, and if Takeshita does win, I'm thinking he will fight for that IWGP championship. At at one certain point. Uh, TNT Championship, barbed wire steel cage. Malachi dripped in blood on dynamite. Adam Copeland's putting up that championship, and I'm picking Adam Copeland. I don't see him losing that championship anytime soon, sadly, but um, it's just how I feel. Uh, and I think this is going to be the end of this feud. And I heard rumors around like Malachi Black is kind of wants out of his contract and stuff, but that's just rumors and speculation. We go into the AEW International Championship. Will Ospreay versus Roderick Strong. This is going to be a banger of a match. This is going to be the match of the night, I feel. And it's going to be Will Ospreay holding that championship over Roderick Strong because I don't see them having, I don't see them booking Will to lose. He has been winning, 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 except what he, he didn't win on uh, Dynamite, but still, I think he's going to win that championship uh, off of Roderick Strong, and rightfully so. I would be happy if uh, Will Ospreay is our new in AEW International Champion. We go into the AEW Women's Championship match. I think this match is going to be okay. Hopefully, this uh, we can move on Serena from Serena Deeb. Tony Storm gets the win with the Mariah May or Luther help. And yeah, I just hope this is the end of this because I'm just not, I'm not big on Serena Deeb. Just not big on her at whatsoever. Anarchy in the arena. The Elite versus Team AEW. I think Team A A A AEW is going to win, but I'm picking the Elite. Why? Because I am Elite. <laughs> I am picking the Elite for the win, and hopefully they continue this uh, monstrous takeover. But uh, just feeling Tony Khan's going to be involved in this match some way, somehow, and it's going to get Team AEW the win. But as a fan of the Elite, I am picking the Elite, all right? Because I'm too sweet, God damn it. TBS Championship, Willow Nightingale versus Mercedes Monet. I want Willow Nightingale, but this was just me as a making the pick just because it's it's obvious. Mercedes Monet is walking out with that championship. She's going to get her revenge for uh, Willow hurting her uh, for the New Japan uh, Women's Strong match they had. So I feel like Mercedes Monet is going to get the win here. I don't want her to get the win. I'm really rooting for Willow Nightingale. And if uh, Mercedes Monet beats Willow, I'm going to be a little upset, but that is my pick for this pay-per-view is Mercedes Monet getting that t TBS championship and rubbing in Willow's face, and I just hope Willow does not fall to the wayside because of it. AEW championship, Swerve Strickland versus Christian. Come on. <laughs> Swerve Strickland is going to be a long-time 
champ here for a bit until someone is worthy to knock him off that throne. Uh, maybe an MJF return. What kind of returns are we going to get back here? Or an MJF one or the knife, so that's probably going to rule that out. But there we go. I'm picking Swerve Strickland. We're going to get a lot of Christian family shenanigans on the outside. But there we go. That's my pick. Swerve, Mane, the Elite, Tony, Will Ospreay, Adam, Moxley, Orange, Hook, M. Bang, bang, gang. That's it. That's all. Are you excited about Double or Nothing? I'm very excited about Double or Nothing. We're going to have tacos. Ah. It's, it, it's becoming an event, uh, especially when it's on a Sunday. That makes it even better. We got the King and Queen of the Ring on Saturday morning to start my day. So a lot of wrestling going on this weekend. Uh, tell me what you thought of the Dynamite. Still drop those comments below. Tell me what you think of my picks and predictions. And are you excited for Double or Nothing? Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash New World Podcast. Get yourself that sweet NWP logo created by Penta X. And remember that the New World Podcast is for life. Brother. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, that was great.